What's up, everybody? George Sios Samus here. And today I'm going to just take you through Cerebris, specifically Cerebris Coder. Now, Cerebris, I first heard about, I think it was through the guys at Klein. So Klein, if you're not familiar with Klein, this is a an AI assistant bot that is quite popular for those who are into vibe coding and even for more seasoned professionals who use tools like VS Fork, Windsurf, Code. what's the name of the cursor? Cursor is the one. And so it looks like this, this is Klein. So essentially if this little bot right here that you can access inside of any of your IDEs. Okay. So I first heard about it through Klein on their Twitter account and I went and checked it out, saw it for myself, use it inside Windsurf and was absolutely blown away by the speed and inference that it was moving. And you can see how quickly it's going through that. It's insane because what I did in Windsurf was I took out a project, I put Win Windsurf on one side, client on the other, and then I essentially had it use, under client, I had it use Cerebris plus Quencoder. And then on the other side in Windsurf, I just used Claude, Sonnet, or on its own. And I think it was like, as soon as I blinked, the Cerebris version had just already got all the information and edits and changes done. And it was absolutely like mind blowing. So I'd never seen anything like this so far in this space. And so I did some digging and I found this neat little mini site called Cerebrus Coder. And I'm just going to take you through so you can see just how quickly this moves and where the future is headed. Because I think a lot of us have become used to this thinking process among a lot of the more popular LLMs, but there are teams who have already figured out how to get inference done a lot more quickly. I think 20 times as quickly. So here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, create a to-do app based on the Eisenhower matrix model. There should be a way for the user to both set their higher level goals. Yeah, goals, add, edit, new tasks, and even move tasks between quadrants. Okay. So before I hit the enter button, I'm going to click on this and essentially this will, it didn't even think, wow, I literally clicked the button and it created the app here on the right. And as you can see, that took 0.75 seconds. So why does this matter? This matters because what is happening is that the compute speed is getting to the point where I can think of something, put it in, and it will create what I'm thinking about as quickly as it takes to blink. Okay. Here, I've got my app on the right. I'm going to, what do I want to do? I'm going to say, let's. Okay, first I need to add a goal. So let's say show people Cerebrus Coder. Okay, add goal. All right. And then we essentially need a way to add tasks, right? So I want to say we now need a way to add, edit, delete new tasks. Each task needs to be assigned to a goal. Each task. Needs so I'm going to hit enter and bam, it's already there. So again, with this, you notice it put task buttons in each area. And I, of course, want to be more specific. And so this sort of going back and forth actually should be helping you to think better. All right. So a lot, what I'm noticing a lot of times right now is that people are complaining that essentially the AI is not doing exactly what it wants, right? There's some truth to that. But the other part is that as human beings, we need to use AI to help us think better and communicate more clearly and effectively. Okay. And this is why sometimes it's good to think through what you want and plan it out before you give it to the AI. What I'm doing right now is more of an iterative approach. And so I'm putting things in, seeing what comes out. But through that process, I'm essentially helping to improve my own 
cognitive abilities when it comes to building things, especially with these tools and with these models. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, make store data locally, ensure data persistence. Okay. So what I've done is I have made it so that every time I make updates, the actual tasks and goals themselves are going to be stored in my browser history. Okay. On my computer, essentially. And now what we want to do is, okay, if I put add task, okay, that does that. And there's no goal. That makes sense. Okay. Let's streamline the add goal and add task buttons, place them on the same row above the matrix and add a drop down for goals after they've been created. All these elements should be on the same row to stream line the UI. Okay, I'm hitting enter. My God, 0 0.9, sec 0 0.9 seconds, okay? And now I'm gonna say replace text with relevant icons for the two buttons, move, add goal, button to the left of add task. Damn. Damn. That is wild. Okay. Add a more relevant icon for each button. Example, trash can for, oh no, now goal starts for goals and plus for tasks. Okay. Then I'm going to try this again. Whoa. Okay. So now we're starting to see some things where it might not be getting it right. And that's okay. That's interesting though, because last time when I was trying this, it was getting exactly right, but that's fine. So let's now say make headers for each quadrant much smaller. My Lord, insane. So add goal, show users, Cerebus. Gonna add the goal. Okay. So the goal is here. Add task. Show cerebrus coder. So these selections here are from the Eisenhower matrix. Yeah, the Eisenhower matrix principles. So what I want to do is yep. Add task. And let's see. Okay. Tasks aren't showing up when in their respective quadrants after trying to add them. So pop pops should disappear after adding a goal or task. Now remember we are using Llama, right? So it'd be interesting to see Cerebrus with say called code or something of the sort, right? One of the more popular models, you might get different results, but uh, so show years, show Cerebrus coder and task. Okay. 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 All right. So now we're, you're just starting to see how quickly these things can move. Right. And right now the code, it's all just basic HTML. We can make this a lot more advanced using a next JS or something of the sort, right. To really turn this into an application that we could put out to the world and sell. And so this is Cerebrus. And again, they're showing just how quickly it moves. And what's going to be interesting is to see how Cerebrus makes its way into the more popular models. Because I think if you can couple like Claude Code, Gemini, et cetera, with something like Cerebrus, Cerebrus you're just going to have an insane level of speed for, for building. And yeah, really, it's like less than a second that the changes are being applied. And it's so fast that you blink and it's done. All right. So that's my brief review of Cerebrus.ai and Cerebrus Coder. If you have any questions about it, let me know. I might do a follow-up as I start using or playing around with this a bit more. Okay. Speak soon.